Yo, what's up guys, Osko Dan here. And here's a question maybe you have, and here's a question that I've been asked at the gym, and also by my gym partner. And here's the question. How do you get that underlying pec line? So like when you have your shirt off, it's like you, you have that little line under your pec that kind of curves outwards. I was at the gym one time, and this guy comes up to me and says, hey, how do you get your chest to look like that? And I was like, what are you talking about? And he was like, well, how it kind of pops out to the side. And I was like, oh, I mean like the side boob? He's like, yeah, the side boob. And I was like, whoa. I gave him a couple of different answers because I like to be thorough. When someone asks me a question in person, I like to give them a thorough answer. You know, no bullshit. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to achieve that underlying pec line. So for those who don't know what the underlying pec line is, I'm gonna give you some examples right here. Number one, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Really good example of the underlying pec line. Example number two, Mike Menster. Pretty good example. Example number three, Vince Gironda. So now you know what the underlying pec line is. I'm gonna tell you how to achieve that. The answer is dips. And I'm not talking about just any dips. I'm talking about V-bar dips. V-bar dips are probably the best type of dips you can do. And not the thing is, that bar isn't common anymore. It was in the old days. It's pretty rare when you see one at my gym, they have a V-bar dip, which is really, really cool. And a lot, of the, a lot of the dip bars you'll see nowadays are just parallel. And that's fine. I was able to build the underlying pec line with just the parallel dip, so they work just as good as, they don't work just as good, but they work good enough to get the underlying pec line. All the bodybuilders used to do this. They used to do dips right after their workout or maybe to warm up. A big advocate of the dips was Vince Gironda. He was a big preacher of the dips and the neck press. And someone who always did dips was Arnold Schwarzenegger. In his Early in his bodybuilding career, he did a lot of dips. And another guy that was a big fan of the dips was Samir Banut. I can't remember which video I got it from. It might have been a video with Artemis and him talking, or it was like one of his own videos. But he said at the end of the, their workout, they would always do dips. All right, so I hope this helped. All right, so I hope this video helps out a lot. For those guys who want that old school looking chest, dips are a must. And for guys who just want a nice looking chest, dips are really good for shaping your chest. All right, so if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe because I make videos every day. I post new shit every day. Lots of helpful shit to make you better and to make the community better. All right, so I know this video was short. I wanted it to be straight to the point, no bullshit. Anyways. Thanks for watching. This is Old School Dan. Check it out. Peace.